Hey guys, it's Mini Cooper finally back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the ghost train that spawns in their roads. But before we get into this, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for more Red Dead Redemption 2 content like this. But with that other way, guys, let's just get straight into this video. So I know that this ghost train easter egg is definitely an old easter egg. Uh, I believe it was found like a day or two after the actual release of the game. And I'm pretty sure everyone that's actually played this game before has at least heard about it or seen it. Um, so I'm not saying it's new or anything. Uh, I just believe I found like a theory or backstory behind it. And uh, the reason why it's a ghost train um, and like what happened to it and stuff. Uh, because I believe I found some clues uh, as to what happened. So um, I'll get more into that very soon. But if you guys don't know how to spawn the ghost train, it is very simple. All you have to do is make your way over to the town of Rhodes and then uh, follow the train tracks going north or towards Valentine until you find like a crossing or a, a path that goes across the train. And uh, next to it should be a sign saying Lemoyne and further down a bit should be um, like a bend and on that bend is a bridge so um it's very simple to find it just follow the track and you should find this area and uh what you want to do is wait around here between 12 a.m till about 5 a.m uh it kind of happens whenever it likes to between that sort of time zone area and um just as long as it's midnight and uh you wait till about dawn uh for me it spawned in pretty much just as the sun was rising uh but i've seen videos where it spawned in at like 3 a.m or 2 a.m so it's definitely different for uh, each person. But um, you will find that uh, this train has a very ghostly sound and your horse will react weirdly to it. But I'll let you guys watch the small little clip of it here. So as you guys could probably tell, this ghost train definitely has a creepy vibe to it, especially with all the creepy noises and stuff like that. But um, if you guys didn't notice, my horse actually didn't want to run through it or run inside the train. It would actually pull back as soon as I got close to it, which is very interesting. Uh, and I believe this is kind of like a clue saying that uh, your characters are not just seeing things. And uh, it's actually like a thing that everyone else can see so like the horse is actually reacting to it so it'll be interesting to see if there's anyone else like any npcs that walk past if they uh get creeped out by it or if they interact with it but um anyway going into the backstory of it if you guys make your way over to the train bridge that the train goes across and uh make your way down underneath it you'll notice like an old stream or what used to be a stream uh ran through there and obviously made its way out towards the sea or whatever you want to call it and uh anyway if you guys make your way up stream a bit you will notice kind of like this dam that's been broken and i believe this is a clue as to what happened to the train and uh you guys can probably already see where i'm going with this uh behind this dam is like a like a massive uh area swamp area so obviously this would have been filled right up with water and this would have been like a little lake uh behind it and the lake would have slowly fed through this water wheel to generate power and uh and then obviously out towards the sea but if you guys follow this river or stream north you will notice that it actually goes past emerald ranch and then eventually to like the swamp land or uh like these ponds which are fairly close to the mountains so what i believe happens is when there's a downpour these mountains would feed this swamp land with water and then it would eventually lead down to this lake behind the uh, dam and uh what would have happened was one day there must have been a massive downpour or something and uh and this lake or river behind the dam would have filled right up to the point where the dam couldn't hold it anymore so it just burst and broke away and then uh the massive rush of water from this dam breaking would have um swept the bridge out which is literally just a few meters down the down the stream and then um would have swept it out to sea so there, that's why you can't see any sort of um 
leftovers from the bridge or anything from the train and so um you'd think the train would see it but uh judging by one of the recent missions where um you rob one of the trains uh obviously the trains can stop very quickly so this doesn't actually make sense now the reason why this uh train spawns in only at night is because that's when it actually happened so when it was at night it would have wouldn't have been able to see the uh swept away bridge so it would have derailed or would have uh literally just gone straight into the river and then got swept away so that's what i believe the story is behind the ghost train so uh if you guys have any other theories or opinions or anything to do with this ghost train definitely let me know in the comment section below that'll be very much appreciated but that's really it for my video guys hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you guys do have any other mysteries or easter eggs you want me to try and solve or find the backstory for definitely let me know in the comment section as well that will be greatly appreciated um but yeah i am working on another theory video right now so uh hopefully i can get this out to you guys very soon uh it's to do with the um mural with window rock or um the other mural that's in that cave if you guys have any sort of findings or anything to do with this or uh anything linked to these murals definitely let me know and uh they'll be greatly appreciated as well but that's really it for my video guys like i said if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and drop a comment and subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for more uh videos like this but with that out of the way guys i will see you in the next one